Hey. Modest I be in interview, so niggas hatin' Cause I play it like I know had no clue that I'm the greatest uh, Tory come sit up on this dick I see you waiting the baby come. Man What's going on fellas? Y'all boys doing alright man? Yo, it's your fucking boy Etika from the Etika World Network here. It's a little microphone I got. I'm here to talk to y'all. Whoops. I had an interesting day today. I ran a couple of errands. I got some things done. Guess what? I'm gonna pick up yo yo again, bro. Start to throw some fucking hoops, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get in the crib, my nigga. Start doing tricks, my nigga. What is up, YouTube? And today, we're going to be talking about some... The creepiest, the crawliest, the nastiest plagues of the internet. The most evil and satanic group of people on the internet known as furries. Now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start with explaining what furries are in case you don't know. A furry is, hold up, let me just look up on Urban Dictionary. Okay, Urban Dictionary says, there is no one single definition of what a furry is. Even within the furry fandom, people cannot always agree on just what makes a person a furry or not. Some would argue that to be a furry, you must think, you must think and talk like one, i.e. use furry specific words and phrases even if you go to conventions wear a fursuit draw the art write the stories etc but don't talk using furry lingo you're not a furry basically someone that may walk the walk but doesn't talk the talk so you know basically you could do everything everything that a furry does in Except you won't, you don't use the, the the same words or phrases that they do, so you're not referring to the, some of them. But but let's continue. Others would agree, or others would argue. Sorry, I'm just basically dyslexic and I cannot read or something. O others would argue that even liking anthropomorphic creatures makes you a furry. You may have no idea the furry fandom exists or even or have ever heard of a furry convention let alone any of the websites simply liking anthro critters makes you a furry well i'll be honest liking anthropomorphic creatures is kind of weird so uh, if you like any of that stay away from me if you don't like furries go away if you don't like furries go away I've got a lot to do, not any time for you, if you don't like furries, go away. Okay, now this person decides to add his own, his own per opinion. The way, the way I see it, if or if you don't consider yourself a furry, is a matter of personal opinion. And if you don't know what personal opinion is, that is something that is not allowed on the internet for obvious reasons, usually the main cause for flame wars. Because, you, you know, you shouldn't have. But anyway, as with any hobby, most furries are normal people, just like anyone you'll meet at work or school, or going to or from work slash school or anywhere. Then there is the small percent that are hardcore and have taken what for most is a hobby and perverted it i'm i'm just reading like what the, what they what they uh what they put down okay enough with this urban dictionary so basically the the easiest way of identifying them is from the first suit what is a first suit basically it's like if you took an ant, like an animal carcass, and you just turned into a cartoon and wore it as a suit, that's basically what what a fur suit is. A lot of furries have these things called fursonas. I don't know if I don't know. If you get it? Cause persona, fursona. Basically, a lot of them will be like, "Hi, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. My name is Tom. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wolf from York, Yorkshire, and uh." And uh, um, 
I got I got powers. I can I can turn the moon red with with my with my glare or something like that. You know, it's 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 like autistic. And then you got like you got a lot of people that are furries who are sexually sexually like pleased by a. I don't know. I don't know if they like like animals in a sexual way, but I know it's like they'll at least like some people like legit have sex in their like fur suits, which is kind of one of the weirdest things to me. And uh, there's there's a lot of how should I say this? Uh, there are a lot of furries. That are SJWs. What is even worse than that is there are a lot of furries who are actual, legitimate, straight up Nazis. Like, I'm gonna sh like look at this photo. This is like a photo of some fursona with. Hailing Hitler in an actual SS like officer uniform, like what? Why is why is this a thing? This should not. This should this should not be a thing. And then yeah, of course you got the SJW furries, and then you got the people who are TikTok. <laughs> An idiot. God, don't we hate TikTok? And then you also have the uh, what are they? You got the the furries that are super proud of being a furry for some reason, and just like decide that that is the defining characteristic of their personality. The fact that they are a fur a furry is the one defining characteristic to them as a human being and that is the one thing you have to know before talking to them hence this one meme slash tiktok slash video whatever you want to call it uh roll the clip if you don't like furries go away if you don't like furries go away i've got a lot to do not any time for you if you don't like furries go away but yeah uh i don't know this is kind of a different video just me talking uh i'm working on the 50 subscriber special still trying to get like a lot of clips for it but um i'll see you guys wait i totally just messed up my intro uh, my, my outro but uh, okay let's please let me start again and anyway that's it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button Click the subscribe button down below and put on post notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload. And I feel like you should do that more for me because, uh, you know, you never know when I, up I upload. So I'm not like a real YouTuber who uploads every single day and eventually saturates their content. So, uh, yeah, you guys are great. Um, I will see you in the future. Goodbye. All right, motherfucker. So a couple weeks ago, I shot the fucking dog that lives across the way. Um, little barking ass motherfucker was on top of the goddamn balcony. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. You feel me? And I had to drop my nigga. I had to put him to fuck Dan. You feel me? My main goal is to blow up. I, I, I when I'm in the clouds. That's this space shit.